Whoa. So, the sun is uh, almost going down. You know what I did today? One rafter. One whole complete rafter. This is the template from the other side. This one is in place. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I got also a second one to put uh, there. Uh, that failed miserably. It's now uh, over here. Um, yeah, and I also got the the last beam here. Is the actually the template from the other side? Uh, not template, but one of the beams from the other side. And it fits exactly uh, there, and this is what I use as uh, the point to make it level. Uh, put a wire here. And there it is. Yeah, and now, so now I'm trying to um, fit in all the rafters that go in between. Here. Uh, yeah, never done this before, so uh, <laughs> I expect to freak up some rafters. Hey, caught myself there. Um, about this side. Uh, let's go there. Uh, I have been working here also. Uh, when it gets too hot, I just start uh, with the stuff that needs less thinking. <laughs> Uh, let me show you this. Also getting quite handy in moving uh, up and down the scaffolding. Been up there today maybe a hundred times. <laughs> um, so for this part, uh, everybody is advising me to keep it because it's kind of sturdy. So um, two things, or I can just fill in the bricks here, make them more solid so they can hold more weight. Um, another idea, let me get a brick here. is to um, leave the rafter like this, but um, cement in a row of bricks here. And then uh, cut the rafter, maybe a little bit more, uh, like that. Because I have some room here behind to make some more support to support this. And then if we um, make another bird's mouth here, that's a little bit more up. And it's supported here and not here. And uh, yeah, we could leave this uh, like this. So that's um, two options I'm considering here. Uh, because uh, yeah, it's it sits now and uh, would be ashamed uh, to take it all off again. Uh, but I first want to see how it goes on this side. Um, for now, it's uh, it's a learning curve. Yeah, so it's evening. I'm gonna try and make another rafter. One uh, very handy tip. Don't leave the cap of the pencil in the Portuguese heat. So what I'm doing here, um, I just uh, took the rafter out of place, but uh, the camera was not recording, so. Um, Luckily, I noticed it before I did the whole part of the video. Um, but what I did is um, the beams are the same length. And it's the same uh, distance over there from the top to the edge of the ridge beam. Six centimeters. This also has the six centimeters there. So and as soon as I had that, I... Um, Marked it off against the wall. 
like so. So it was actually like that. Uh, I did this on both sides. I really wonder how I got this beam so, so straight in it. Uh, maybe because I didn't cut it uh, correctly on this side, so it had a little bit more room. Uh, the other side I cut correctly, but with the saw it uh, wiggled a little. Um, so yeah, this is the second one I try um, in this position. So what I now want to do after I have this line is I want to know what is the distance between the rope and the block. So there's eight, three, eight centimeters, three millimeters. Steve-O, eight clicks, three stripes. Maybe two stripes. 8.2 Here, for reference, on the other beam It's exactly 8 So then I go from uh, the top of the beam And we need to keep 8 centimeters Eight point two. Here we go. Here we go already. <laughs> oh my god. Um, eight. One, two. Okay. So this is a very small bird mouth. It should start then there, right? Then we need to have the same angle from the wall again. So the straight angle down, right? And then take the 90 degrees off of that. So, uh, flop. Now, am I doing that correctly? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> uh, do the other side. 8.2. Then get the horizontal line. Check in the box. Check in the box. So I'm now going to cut it um, on both sides. This I only cut on one side and then we did with a handsaw because I don't have a blade that uh, can uh, slice through it. Uh, so let's take this out. Come over here. Now where can I put this? Top down view. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's actually the same thing I did the last time, so it would be strange if it fitted, but uh, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, looks a little less crooked. Uh, well, the beam is crooked, but um, I mean my measurements. Let me get something to measure. So yeah, uh, sorry, the beams are not any longer than this. Uh, but it's supposed to be like this. And this now looks like this. So again, I'm missing uh, like two, two centimeters here, I think. Hello there. Oh, it's... Okay. oh my god. Women on the building side. Yes. Nice view up here. Ooh. Okay. And the nice view. <laughs> So, but uh, yeah, I'm actually missing uh, one and a half centimeter. I have one idea what may be the problem. Let me show you. <laughs> the, one, the one here wants to make a fire for the dinner and he come around the corner with this thing <laughs> and it hit me exactly like <laughs> full in the chest. Like I was the dinner, like, yeah. like on the barbecue. <laughs> Thanks, Dwight. So what actually happened here is because I do draw a straight line, is that um, there is a sort of a gap here. So here on the bottom, it's touching the wall, but here on the top, you have like maybe half a centimeter. So it doesn't account for one and a half centimeter. What I'm missing at the top. Shelter. Yes. Oh, inside. The dog is exploring uh, my property. Akira! Akira doesn't want to be in the video. It can happen. But um, yeah, the second thing that happened, look at the line. So it's supposed to be like this, like one or two millimeter. So I have the cut, the cut is like one millimeter. And that would be then this cut. But this cut seemed to be dropped. Let's see how much it is. Getting dark here. Yeah, so if you maybe not could see, that was like five mil. Yeah. So yeah, why why am I missing here an extra four mil? This beam should have been 
like that. Por quê? Por quê? So that's exactly what happened to the last beam. What am I doing wrong here? So I think if I would cut it a little bigger then, more to the back, So let's say, what is it like? One and a half centimeters. Wow, it's getting late. Uh, like one and a half centimeters, take it off here. And then I would have um, the six centimeters there on the top. And also probably the beam would like, because it's going up, probably uh, getting closer to the wire <laughs> um, but I tried this with another beam uh, this one actually this one um, and that didn't work either let me show you as you can see there I uh, cut it wider than where the marking is and uh, that didn't work either. Maybe try again to cut it wider so I can show you. Here come the mosquitoes. Uh, okay, so I don't know why, but I think I know what the issue is. Because uh, it's maybe the other way around. Because uh, if I cut, if I would have cut this not uh, so low, so it has a little extra, if I would have cut it like this, it would automatically be able to shift more up. So now my question is, why am I ending up here? Why well, should have maybe an extra centimeter there? And then it would have been pretty okay, I think. Um, not a problem, we just take a new rafter. This rafter we can use on other parts of the wall. Um, because there they, uh, <laughs> there they, they will fit. <laughs> so unless I don't fuck up... Ahem, so unless I don't... Uh, Screw up. Is that allowed? Screw up. So unless I screw up another 10 of these, it should be fine. Uh, let's try another one tomorrow. <laughs> Where's my cooking crew? I don't see any action in the kitchen area. So I took out the ceilings here already. Sing! From the... From the, uh, from the chandelier! What I was saying. <laughs> um, yeah, so I took out this roof. These walls are gonna go tomorrow also. I took out this, not roof, ceiling, but here it's still a mess, so this I still need to take out. And uh, yeah, cleaned it up. Oh, this side doesn't have a, have a light. Oh my god. Let's do it like this. Uh, so we need to check the chimney out also. Be careful how it's attached to the sheath wall. Whoa, this is a bright light, mate. Uh, then take the ceiling out. And remove all these walls. Get this whole shizzle out of here. So yeah, that's for tomorrow. I'm having some help tomorrow. Uh, 
we're going to wash this biggie. That's what we say in Holland. A farkitje wasser. Like, uh, <laughs> let's wash this biggie. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to try again uh, the rafter uh, tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we get. Good night from the ghost town. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.